Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a speed build of an apartment. I'm pretty sure I don't have any of these on my channel yet. So this is the first one. I actually really like making over apartments more than I actually like building houses because I don't like the actual building part because I'm not good at it. I'm like average, I guess. Not like horrible, but I'm not good. Like I'm, I'm not as good as some of the other builders out there. But anyway, we're doing the kitchen now, which I end up redoing because I end up not liking how I first done it. Which makes a lot of sense, I guess. I ended up going with like a, I don't even know what you'd call, like lots of black and white, I guess, and like a, a pinky cream for the walls, I think I went with. As you can see, I'm going through everything in the kitchen and it takes me forever to decide how I actually want the kitchen because I'm indecisive like that. Like you'd think, like this this looks all right, this kitchen here, it looks all right. But no, I change it. Like twice, I think. Once, no, maybe just once. But as you can see, I end up changing it, which doesn't make a lot of sense. But if, um, if there's any videos that you guys prefer to see, like I don't know, if you want more let's play or more building or decorating and all that kind of stuff or even creating a sim I like doing that that's fun but as you can see I'm still doing the kitchen because oh there we go there goes the kitchen and I'm pretty sure yes this this is how I went this is what I went with for the kitchen just black and white simple easy and the whole like I don't really think there's much of a theme except for black and white in this apartment but I actually really enjoyed it and like my fi my kids finally had a nap at the same time today which is the only reason I got to record this so that's good it's better it's like two o'clock now when I'm editing this but it was about one o'clock when I started playing it which is nice because usually I'm doing all my recording after the kids have gone to bed at like past nine o'clock they don't go to sleep until like eight o'clock so by nine o'clock I finally get on and then I've got to record and then I've got to edit it and if it needs a voiceover then I have to do the voiceover so yeah it's fun this this kettle annoyed me so much I, I love watching people who do like they put a lot of clutter into their rooms I wish I could do that but I just I think I need to download more custom content clutter so that would be a good idea maybe I can add that to my custom content shopping spree to video that I do if anyone would be interested in that personally in real life my house is very cluttered <laughs> I really need to do I really need to get rid of some clutter but I, I like the clutter in sims it just makes it more like less sims if that makes sense like it more lived in I guess like a most houses have clutter so I thought well so I think the houses on sims look good when they have clutter as well I like it and I've just done just a little two seated dining table because it's not gonna be for a huge family there's only one but one bedroom one bathroom so it's just like a maybe like a single person maybe like a just a couple that don't have any kids obviously but yeah that's the kitchen done almost once I pick out the flooring which takes a little bit but I get there eventually obviously oh there we go picked one I like it it's simple it's just I'm a very simple person in real life anyway I don't need like crazy wallpapers and all that kind of stuff just give me simple stuff like my house just has white walls white walls and white tiles a lot of white although I'd love to I'd love wooden floorboards like growing up I always had wooden floorboards but now I have white tiles which is a struggle to keep clean when you have two kids but I manage sometimes my son likes to help if you could call it helping anyway this little bedroom I really like this bedroom like I want to make my real life bedroom into a bedroom that looks like this 
I think it's nice and simple. It's small. We don't need like a big bedroom or anything like that. There's no point having a big bedroom. I end up getting rid of this plant. Yep. It was frustrating me. I didn't have time for that. <laughs> a nice lamp. And then just a simple wardrobe. Because, again, I'm just simple. I don't need anything fancy. And then I didn't realise that I put a wall in the window. So, that's good. But I end up fixing it. I do. I fix it. See, I've just noticed it now. Oops. And then I'm putting a desk with a computer because you never know if the sim might want to do stuff on their computer. It's always handy having a computer. I personally don't have a computer in my room, but some people do. I have an office slash throw whatever we can't find a spot for into that room too. That kind of room. I'm sure a lot of people have one of those rooms. I just call it the office slash junk room because we just have like just spare beds why do we need so many spare beds but we have them we have like three spare beds and it's it's just pointless but one day I'll do something about it one day and I see I would have liked to put more clutter on the computer desk but that's fine we don't need a lot of clutter I'm sure like if anyone actually does download this apartment actually I'm pretty sure you have to download the rooms yeah that's how I had to upload them each by rooms so you have to like bulldoze the apartment download the rooms and that's how but if anyone does they can put in more clutter if they would like more clutter and then they can have all the clutter they want I just need to download more clutter because I don't have enough and this bathroom is very small, but I almost forgot about it after I did the kitchen and the bedroom. I was like, oh, we're going to need a bathroom. So then I'll just quickly just put like a little one in again. It's just going to be like a single person or a couple. They're not going to need a big bathroom. They got a shower, they got a toilet, they got a sink. That's all they need. But then their living room is even smaller. Well, not really smaller than the bathroom, but it's around the same size. But again, they don't need anything big. They just need something simple. Has anyone actually used that big curved TV? I've never built a house big enough that would need it. But I think I might do that sometime soon. Just do like a really big luxury house. Like with like an, in, an in-home gym and a big TV screen. Maybe like their own little movie room, movie theatre room. I reckon that'd be cool. I'd like to have one of those in my house, but I don't. I just have a TV and a couch or a lounge. I don't know what everyone calls them, but we call them couches. And we don't actually call them living rooms in Australia. We just call them lounge rooms because you just lounge around in them. So they're just called lounge rooms. And a lot of my American friends have no idea what I'm talking about when I say lounge room. But I think it just kind of, like it's called a lounge lounge room you just connect the dots that it would be a living room and I don't know why I was putting a couch here it doesn't need one so I just went with two little couches or armchairs whatever they're called just like a little sitting area where they can read their books because why not I like having little sitting areas where I can read books I like reading I'm a big reader although not as much as when I was a kid and I, I love these pictures that I I got them last night when I was doing a little custom content shopping. I really like them. There's like whales and then there's one that's like, pretty sure it's New York City. It has like different pictures of like the streets and the buildings, which is nice. I really like it. Anyway, guys, this video is almost finished. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy it. And please subscribe and all that fun stuff. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.